persecution and bullying on the internet you know for people to people who who happen to like pineapple on their pizza I just don't get it why why everybody is just so disgusted by it. you know I, I'll admit it I like pineapple on pizza and there are times when I actually crave pineapple on pizza you know I get it you know some people don't like it but you don't have to make fun of other people who do and I'm not I'm not saying that I'm a personally you know, uh, targeted for it or anything. Nobody's ever come up to me because I don't ever want to admit that I like pineapple on pizza because I think I'll be attacked for it, you know? I mean, I'm admitting it now because nobody's gonna watch this video, but like, what, what is wrong with you people? Like, why do you have to be so mean about it? What is the problem? Why do you gotta be so mean? I, I don't understand. Let people eat their pizza the way they want to eat it. I don't like anchovies on my pizza. Um, but I'm not gonna make fun of people who do. So those are my two cents on the matter, right? They, doesn't really matter but you know to me it's just I've just been seeing a lot of hate for it and I don't understand why you know it just doesn't make sense so Wyla say hi oh, okay oh look at you look at you look at Wyla this looks so good he's getting so big look at your face hello hello good boy okay bye Wyla is officially five months now and uh, that he turned five months on December 7th so he's getting bigger and I can't tell because I've been watching him you know I've been uh, looking at him for so long and it's almost like he's still the same size but I know he's grown because when we first had him he was about 17 pounds and we just weighed him again and he's about 27 pounds almost 30 pounds this boy I can barely carry him but he's learning so fast we've got him ringing a bell for the potty so we have a little jingle bell on the door that he nudges with his nose to let us know he wants to go out. But uh, Wyland's doing well. So I got a new handbag or purse, whatever you want to call it, and I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was one of the coolest handbags I've ever gotten. I know the website I got it from is called Luminesque. No! And this is what it looks like. And it is so cool because it kind of has that like oil slick luminescent color to it. So anyway, it sent an advertisement to me on like v, uh, via Facebook or Instagram, one of those, I don't know. I fall for those, okay? I do. And it got me this, so, you know, it's not such a scam after all. I always think they're scams, but this wasn't, because it came out exactly how I thought it would. The size is a bit smaller than I thought it would be, but it's still good. I like it a lot. It has these two handles here, and then the one long one. I like to use the long one, but... And, um... On here, each panel is just like one individual panel sewn onto like some black fabric here. Every time, like see, whenever I move it, it kind of moves geometrically like this, and it's that's kind of cool. I like that. Right now, it's a little darker, so it's you can't see a lot of the color, but you can tell. You can kind of tell. There's some purples and greens in there, and uh, against the light, it gets if it gets a lot lighter next to it, I think you can see more color. But even without the color, I think it's still super cool because it's so it's like really geometric and nothing I've ever had before and I'm you know I was so excited to get it and I got it for myself as a Christmas present for myself there's a zipper on the inside and you can see that it's a zipper so I was just really excited to get this bag and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got um, if you want to go and get one yourself I'm seriously and nobody's telling me to advertise for them I just was so excited to get this bag and I think it's so awesome if you want to get one yourself it's uh, on a website called Luminous Luminesque.com, I believe. And I think it's a company either in the Netherlands or in China. Basically, it's out of country for U.S. Uh, so it did take a little while. I want to say I got it in November 27th or something like that. And it just came a couple days ago. The price for me, it was uh, about $44 altogether. But that's only because I think it was like sort of a Black Friday type deal. So it might be more expensive now if you go, because I went back and I saw that they had 
I think the price was up to fifty or sixty dollars. So I hope though you can maybe maybe there's a there was a coupon code maybe that I used because I clicked a certain link. I don't know, but either way, I think it would even be worth fifty or sixty dollars because it's awesome. They also have more different things. They have. Uh, like a, a laptop case and a backpack and even bigger shoulder messenger bag. So I would recommend getting it for maybe if you're thinking of a gift for like your sister or your friend or something. This I think would be perfect if they're really into fashion. I think geometrics are still in because I'm such a, such a fashion guru, right? I know the trends. All I know is that this really, really much, uh, very much appealed to me. So I got it. Check them out and uh, see if maybe you can get a coupon for it and get it for a discounted price because I think they're pretty pricey. Come here. That was my update for today. I know, while I'm sad, I made him stop playing with his toy for a second. I'll let you play with it. I just wanted you to sign off with you. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video if there's a next video. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me know if you have any comments or questions about I guess the purse or anything else you might want to see or anything about Wyland if you care at all. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.